Delaware mayor and gun grabber enjoys concealed carry. Oh, what a surprise. Another politician out there who wants his guns and he wants his hands on your guns. The hypocrisy of the gun grabbers knows no bounds. Diane Feinstein has no problem ordering Mr. and Mrs. America to turn in their guns while brazenly admitting, admitting she has a firearms permit. The same goes for Wilmington, Delaware's mayor, Dennis P. Williams, who is a member of the New York of New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg's Mayors Against Illegal Guns, a national campaign to restrict the Second Amendment under the cover of preventing the spread of guns. The government says are illegal and, of course, protecting the children. And uh, what I really like about this article is later on it goes to two other official public servants who had this to say about his concealed carry. Delaware House Speaker Pete Schwarzkopf said he may look into banning firearms in the legislature after it was discovered Williams packed on the House floor. Schwarzkopf, however, gave the mayor a pass. That's Dennis. He comes from the inner city of Wilmington, and a lot of things are going on up there. Moving on, Thomas Schellenberger, a member of the Delaware State Sportsman Association, also said he does not have a problem with Williams carrying. It's like a white cowboy hat. It's a sign you're one of the good guys, you know, because he's a public official. And so he can carry guns, but you can't because you're just a common citizen. Do you understand that? You're not supposed to have guns, only officials, because they have gone through all the proper courses and all the proper training, and they know how to spot terrorists, people who talk about the Second Amendment and the Constitution. Yeah, there you go. Uh, we end now with a YouTube video, and the uh, headline here is 15-year-old girl leaves anti-gun politicians speechless. We go now to that video. I've also been a part of the Maryland Rifle Club and Maryland State Rifle Team since I was 11. We shoot semi-automatic AR-15s, and um, my personal rifle is a Bushmaster. Because of this, I have become eligible for various shooting scholarships around the country to a wide array of even the most prestigious colleges that have shooting teams. Achieving stricter gun control laws would obliterate any opportunity I could have had to attend a decent college on a shooting scholarship. Why doesn't she just listen to Joe Biden and get a shotgun? A 12 gauge, maybe, that she can put up against her shoulder and get knocked back. I mean, a Bushmaster? That's a, 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 an assault weapon. I, totally ridiculous. Look at that. Very well spoken 15 year old girl who's going to get scholarships for her ability to pinpoint a target at a long range. And I like that. I think that's great. We go now to the quote of the day from Blaise Pascal He that takes the truth for his guide and duty for his end may safely trust in God's providence to lead him aright. And that is our news portion. We will be back, and I'll have David Knight in studio with me, and we're going to show you more clips from submissions of the Paul Revere contest where you can win up to $100,000. That's our first prize. So if you're, if you're just finding out about this, well, we're going to give you some tips on, how, uh, on what you should do with your submission, some, some potholes you can avoid, and basically our own opinions on what people should do with their films. And we'll be right back after this short break.